Hi everyone, it's Rachel and for this video I'll be showing you all the charms I have in my very first charm collection box. So these are all the creations I made when I first began polymer clay in 2012 when I was 16 years old. You may recognize some of these from my really old charm updates or recent remake tag videos, but I've never shown or gone through this complete box in a video. Please keep in mind that these are just my beginner charms. They are a lot different to what I would make now because I learned to improve. But in saying that, I hope that this video inspires some of you just starting out and know that with practice and patience that you will improve. And with that being said, let's get started. So I'll start off the top here and like my uh, charm boxes that I have now. These are all sort of in two different categories in the different sections. So this top small one up here is fruit. Um, this very first one on top is a watermelon slice. I then have this cube pineapple and then this is one of the ones that I've remade recently. So this is what the old one looks like. So there's that one I've got here. I've got a little peas in a pod. Again, I've remade this one in a video as well. So this one's actually um, a vertical peas in a pod. I then have this purple strawberry. And then this one was actually my very first charm that I ever made out of polymer clay. So it's just this little strawberry, which is purple themed because the very first blocks of clay I had were all purple pretty much. I then have a few different like watermelon creations. So these I all made sort of at the same time with the same um, mixture of clay that I had created, if I can get them all out. So here they are. There's a few different slices. There's some like um, seedless ones that I have here. There's this little one um, that has some seeds on it. This one is inspired by Amy or Little Surprises YT. And this was a little watermelon fortune cookie. And then I've also got this little watermelon star. Here we then have a little orange and I actually really like the texture that I did on this one. This one's actually another orange but this is one that I tried painting so I made it with just regular white clay and then I used acrylic paints to add the colors after baking. I have this raspberry charm and I love the way that this turned out when I made it and I still actually really like it. Like the shape of it's really nice and I like the colors as well. So I just use like different blobs of clay and um, yeah, and then it's got some little leaves on top. So a raspberry charm. And then left in here is just a whole different bunch of tiny fruits and veggies. So I'll just grab all those ones out. So here they are. Most of them have little faces. So there's a few different little apples. There's a pink one, a red one, um, a green one, and then oops, also a light green one as well. Uh, this one was an apple as well, but it was meant to be more of a realistic one, but the actual little stem broke off it, so that's why it just looks like a little green blob. Uh, there's this little kawaii corn. There's a little carrot. What's this one? I think this one's a little eggplant. And the one I dropped, I'm not actually entirely sure what this one is. Maybe a little turnip, I think it might have to be. So that's it for all the little fruits and veggies. Moving on to this top section up here. These are all uh, sweets. So first up I have this cupcake and this was the very first cupcake I made. Again you can see that I only used like the purple pinkish sort of clay because they were the first colours of polymer clay that I had. I have this little kawaii s'mores and you may have seen this in a recent remake tag video because I did remake it uh, new how I would now. I have this waffle cone and this one is meant to be a cookies and cream waffle cone. So I used um, grey granite clay for the ice cream part. There's this red creamsicle with a little kawaii face and inside you can just see the cream. I've got this uh, little cupcake and this has a mint frosting with some chocolate chips on top. This cupcake which has cookies and cream frosting and a purple base. This one here, which is orange themed. I have this slice of ombre chocolate cake. I have two little snow cones. I think there's two, oh no, maybe three. So there's this sort of um, blue and green one, then a pink and purple one, and then over here is a more sort of orange, pink and yellow one. And I believe that I used either, it was either salt or sugar for the actual 
sort of frozen snow cone part. This one over here is a little tray of miniature cookies in all different uh, flavors, and I really like how this one actually came out. I have another creamsicle. This is a little kawaii orange one, but I accidentally used translucent clay on the inside instead of white clay, so you can't exactly see the cream inside where the bite is. There's this cupcake, and this was sort of like a pistachio one, so it's got some green frosting with little nuts on top. This strawberry ice cream sandwich, a cupcake with purple frosting and a blue bow on top. This cupcake with some custard on top as well as some fruit. This little macaron sort of biscuit thing with cream and some cherries inside. A chocolate cupcake with blue frosting and pink sprinkles. Some miniature tacos. A miniature bowl of Fruit Loops and Cheerios. A chocolate brownie with some cookies and cream, ice cream, chocolate drizzle, caramel drizzle, and finally some nuts on top. This little star sugar cookie. I have this little one which I believe is meant to be a pot of Nutella. I just never put on the Nutella logo. I have this big realistic cookie and then um, just a few more realistic cookies as well when I was trying to try out some different techniques. This cupcake over here, which is a little mushroom garden. So the frosting is some green icing and then, um, yeah, just three little mushrooms on top as well. A kawaii chocolate cookie. I've got a caramel donut with chocolate chips. There's some pieces of licorice all sorts. I've got some more pieces of that chocolate ombre uh, cake. A kawaii cookie with a bow. This little cupcake, a little Nutella jar with a logo that I printed off, this cherry pie, a chocolate mint cupcake, this tiny little waffle cone with a few different chocolate flavors. I've got this little decorated worm meringue, a vanilla slice. There's this Pokeball sugar cookie. I have a donut with white icing and rainbow sprinkles. Uh, down here I have a miniature chocolate eclair. I've got this Pikachu sugar cookie. There's a little blue macaron. I've got a few little scoops of ice cream and then a little miniature yo-yo biscuit. Here's some more donuts with different toppings. I've got a little gingerbread man. There's this stack of pancakes with maple syrup and butter on top. I've got this um, cheeseburger and then over here I've got another burger as well. I've got another one of the Choc Mint Cupcakes. This one's just a little bit bigger. There's this waffle bowl of strawberry ice cream. A few more different cupcakes. There's some chocolate ones and then ones with different toppings on as well. This little Hello Kitty melon bun, which was inspired by a squishy, I believe. A kawaii lemonade drink. A bunch more different sugar cookies. This kawaii creamsicle, and this was actually my first one. Some more licorice all sorts. This scoop of ice cream with a cherry on top. I've got this decorated chocolate cookie with some caramel sauce and some little strawberries. I've got um, this little chocolate roll. And finally, there's a orange macaron which you may have seen in a recent um, remake tag. And then finally, this little slice of apple pie. Whoops. Moving on to this section down here, this is like the designated Oreo section, I guess you would call it. So I've got a few different flavors that I made. So this one's just a regular Oreo. I then tried making a white chocolate and raspberry one. So the outside is like a white chocolate shell and then inside it's got some raspberry cream. I've got a chocolate mint one. So again, chocolate on the outside and then mint in the middle. This one here was meant to be like a um, chocolate honeycomb one. So chocolate on the outside and then a honeycomb center. This one was going to be a Jaffa one, so chocolate orange. So on the outside again is chocolate and then on the inside is a orange cream. I've got a strawberry and cream one, so I made the outside of this one pink. I've got this one and this was going to be a chocolate caramel one on the outside and then I think it's just got regular cream on the inside and then this last one might just be a normal one again. Yeah, it is. So they're all my Oreos. If we head over to this side of the box, this is what I guess you would call just like random objects. So on top here, I've got this first one, whoops, 
which is a little hot air balloon with a dangly basket. There's this little um, Canon camera, I guess you would say, and on the back it's got a heart. There's this kawaii beehive, which you may have seen in a remake tag. A little potted cactus, and on top it has a flower with a broken petal as well. Some mushrooms, a few different Yoshi eggs. This one's made completely out of clay, and then this one here I tried painting. I've got this star from Super Mario. A little potted plant just coming up out of the soil. There's these power-up mushrooms from Super Mario. So there's the one that makes you big, the one that makes you small. Um, where's the face? <laughs> there we are. Um, the one-up mushroom and then the power-up mushroom as well. I have these two Super Nintendo controllers. There's some little rainbows, which I think I was making with some leftover clay. And then over here, it looks like I also made um, a star with the same leftover clay. This flower over here is meant to be a little frangipani, and I tried shading the inside of it. I've got this little tree log with some leaves on the outside there as well. There's another little potted cactus. A bowling pin, which you probably would have seen from a remake tag video. There's this random sort of old looking vintage book, I guess you would call it. Oh, here's another little mushroom. A golden one. Uh, what else is there? There's this little basket with some Easter eggs in it. There's a bunch of different stars, which are actually all plain because I had just discovered that I could make stars without a mold. So I think I was just playing around and practicing with these ones. Here's a few more little potted plants. There's this kawaii pencil. This tiny little thing, which I think is meant to be a coffee bean, which is really random. Um, I've got this little pokeball. A pink bow, I believe it's meant to be. Very fat one though. There's this blue and green star with a bow, a tiny Yoshi egg, this kawaii raindrop, there's another pink bow, another rainbow, this little bird's nest with some eggs, this one here which is meant to be the golden snitch out of Harry Potter, uh, down here, what do I have, this little rain cloud made with some silver clay, I've got this tiny little uh, witch's hat. Oh, and it's got a tiny little face as well. Looks like another Mario mushroom over here. Yes. I've got this really random looking flower plant mushroom thingy. I'm not quite sure what it was. I think I was just playing around with the shading of clay using my chalk pastels. And then what looks to be like just a few more stars that I was practicing playing with the shape. This next big section all the way along here is my animal sort of character section. I bet it does look like there's a few other charms in here as well. But I'll start over this side. So these ones are two peace signs with some flowers and vines wrapped around them. So I've got a white pasta one and a black one. And yes, I do realize that I left out an extra line in the center there, but I only realized after I had made them. <laughs> there's this stacked cinema roll ice cream. A little teal elephant, a neon cat which has lost its rainbow and there's another one over here. The rainbows fell off um, one time as I was looking at them. <laughs> so here's one and the tail's on the back and then there should be another rainbow in here somewhere. There it is. They just snapped off the back though. So that's what those ones look like. I've got this little green kawaii frog. There's a squirrel holding a nut, a grey sheep, down here is a little guinea pig, I've got um, this one here is a hedgehog with a pink bow, this little kawaii star which probably should have been in the object section and I painted this one so I gave it like a bunch of little spots for some reason, I don't know. <laughs> uh, this ice cream which again shouldn't really be in this section but a waffle cone with some yellow frosting, oh not yellow frosting, yellow ice cream and some rainbow sprinkles. There's some little penguins down here. So this is a tiny little teal one with a pink bow 
And this one, oh sorry, this one's actually a purple owl charm. I've got this little guy and this is from Chicken Little, but I forgot what his name is just at the moment. I'll see if I can remember and put it on the screen, but that's what he looks like. These two lizards, I've got a green one and I've also got a white one with some bright pink stripes. Here's another one of those tiny little penguins, but this one's blue with a big pink bow. I've got this duck or chick. There's a pearly pink narwhal, and I'm pretty sure I've got some other narwhals in here as well. Um, oh, there's this green one here, which has a little mustache. And then I'm not quite sure where the other one is just at the moment. Oh, here's another one actually. This is a purple one. Oh, this one's just a plain purple whale. This tiny little thing up in the corner, I believe, is a little pusheen. I've got a few different dinosaurs, so I think there's three of these ones. So I've got a plain green one with a mustache. I've got this sort of like girly one, I guess you would say, with, and this one's green. She's got some little eyelashes and some flowers on top there. Oops. And then I've got a gold one as well, which has a big mustache and also a black top hat. If I just move this over so you could get a better view, I've got a purple dinosaur, a flatback owl, a little bunny holding an Easter egg, three chubby dessert dinosaurs. So there's a chocolate one, a vanilla one with some strawberry and a strawberry one with some chocolate drizzle. There's this tiny little brown sausage dog, I think it is, a chubby watermelon dino, a kawaii purple octopus. And then over here I've got also a bigger blue octopus. This, um, I'm not quite sure what it is, a mouse or a bear or something holding a little clover. This kawaii bee. A tiny little sad innocent looking Pikachu. Another owl, but this one is silver. Some pigs in a little mud bath. Here's another whale and this one has a bow. This stack of cactus characters, a puppy, this dinosaur that I painted, so it's purple and then it's got some rainbow spikes down the back. An alien in a UFO. Eeyore from Winnie the Pooh. An Easter egg turtle. This little alien looking thing. And I'll just move you over again. So over here I've got some dinosaurs. I've got a green one here. This one's a white one with some rainbow spikes. Spikes, a smaller purple one, a gold one with some white spikes, um, are there any other dinosaurs? Yes, this pink one with some brighter pink spikes and a love heart, and this black one with some blue spikes, and then I think this tiny little thing down here is also a dinosaur. Yes, if you can see that, it's, oh! It's so small, I can't even hold it. It's a tiny little blue dinosaur with some a purple spikes. There we go. I've got this Pokemon, which I don't remember the name. It might be Leafeon or something. Please don't quote me on that because I'm not quite sure, but that's what that one looks like. I've got this fish and I tried to shale, shale. I tried to shade the tail with some chalk pastels. There's this little teddy bear. I've got this dolphin, a rainbow caterpillar, another little octopus. This one here is like a little character from either a movie or a show, but I don't exactly remember what it's from. But they're like little blue fluffy things with big eyes and a little smile. So that's what that one looks like. And then the final animal is this painted one. And then this is a little octopus. So it's kind of like a pinky purple color. And then on top, it's got some green spots. And then this final row along the bottom is just a bunch of like random bigger stuff that wouldn't fit anywhere else. So starting over here, this is like a keychain that I used to have on my school pencil case. So I had made a plain Oreo and then it's just got some stars. I've got a few little fluoro sort of creations and these were made with Sculpey eraser clay that I actually did at a friend's house. So I've got a cupcake, a star, a strawberry, a mushroom and that is all. So that's those ones. 
Moving over to this section, I then have a rainbow rose. And I remember when I first made this, I was so proud of it because I only had limited colors. So I mixed all these different colors myself. And this is what it ended up turning out like. And then in the actual like stem part of it, I used some wire and I covered it with green clay. I then have some rainbow cake slices because I had made like a whole cake and cut it up into different bits. So I have, they're pretty much all the same except for uh, the outside. So the inside's like all textured and then I've got some different like outside parts. So these ones here are smooth and then they've got some like little rainbow sprinkles. And then I also made some with like a liquid clay mixture on the outside. So it looks more like frosting. And then again, they've got the sprinkles. So I think there's about three of each of those ones. And I do really like how those ones came out and I still really like them. I then got some larger waffle cones and there's two of those. So this one here is a chocolate mint one and so it's like um, mint ice cream and then it's got some large chocolate chips on the outside and this one was meant to be a grape one. So I used a light purple for the ice cream and then I just popped on some little grapes for decoration on top. And this one here is a cupcake. This is actually sort of like a little sort of mixed media piece. So the base is um, polymer clay and then I used some silicon for the cream and then I just added some little beads on the outside for decoration. Over here again, I've got some more sort of keychains that I had on my school pencil case. So I remade uh, the like Mario mushrooms and put them all together. So I hung that off my zip. Um, and then also over here. So this one's got a bunch of different things and I think this was the first keychain I made when I first started clay. This one's got a cupcake, a strawberry, a uh, little piggy and then two apples. There's a green one. I think they've got a face. Yes. So there's um, a green one and then a red one. Back in this section, I have this Pikachu which I never finished and this one's holding a little popsicle. I was going to paint on the face but I obviously never got around to it. Um, again, it looks like I've got some more charms that I was going to finish painting and I never did. So these ones look like some little cats in different sort of positions. I've got some white ones and then an orange one but yeah, never finished those. And then just in here I've got a bunch of... Um, different like little orange slices. So I made a cane one time which didn't turn out that great But I like had pre-cut them and baked them all so I thought I could use them in my creations But I never did so they just kind of sit in there. This one here is actually the other little narwhal I was talking about before so this is a dark blue one and it has a Gold horn, but I had glazed it funny and then I tried to like rub off the glaze But that's why it kind of looks patchy because that didn't really work. So it looks like I had abandoned him in there. So I'll put him back in there. Sorry, I do actually have another keychain. This was actually my first one. So this has a kawaii cookie on it and also a tiny little earth with all the little continents. And I think I actually did a pretty good job with that. You can see like Australia and like um, Asia and Europe and Africa and then there's South America and North America, which does look a little bit dodgy, but still I really like how that one turned out at the time. And then this final section, I've got some lollipops. So this is just a plain blue one. I've got this uh, puppy, no, here, this puppy one. There's this yellow one, and this was a Pikachu one, but the ears actually fell off. So I think they might be in the bottom somewhere, but there's that one. Um, this one just looks like a plain sort of like red one. I think I was just sort of testing out my translucent clay a little bit here. And then I've got another animal one if I can get it out. Yes, this is a grey cat one. Here's a coffee mug and on the outside it says I love coffee and then it's just got some coffee art um, in the centre. This thing here was like a prototype for a vanilla slice that I was going to make a mold out of. And then I think I just got a bunch of different like swirly lollipops in here. So this was when I had like really limited colors, these ones. And then you can see that these ones are a lot better. These are sort of some pastel rainbow ones. So if I just grab all those out and I used um, toothpicks for the sticks. And then this was actually my very first little lollipop, which again, you can tell because I used only sort of purpley uh, colors. And then of course in the bottom, it looks like I just got like a few little scrap bits that maybe I was making sprinkles out of. And then I'm guessing these things would be, whoops, 
the Pikachu ears. So there you have it. So they were all the charms that I have in my very first Paula McClay charm box. You can let me know down in the comments below what charm you like the best or maybe what you would like to see me remake in an upcoming remake tag video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.